I'm in Kerala to find the best way to experience its backwaters. And today in part 1, I'm checking out one of the best resorts along the shores of the Vembanad Lake. You know it's something special when you have to get there by boat. This is the Coconut Lagoon. I'm here to explore everything from the lush vegetation and the fresh seafood to the floating tea stall and the other special touches. But first a tour of the unique lakeside private pool villa. There are many different rooms at the Coconut Lagoon Lake Resort but I've chosen a really special one that's a private pool villa. So I'm going to show you a full tour of this place right now. This is the living room which is built keeping in mind the traditional Kerala architecture. There's a lot of wood here, there's a painting and a plant here and there's no TV because they want you to feel completely immersed in nature. You can't do luxury with just a coffee pot. This is an espresso maker with pods and pre-loaded water. It has an instruction manual next to it. There's also a French press machine and an electric kettle, porcelain, tea cups and a kettle and here there is a mini bar with pre-chilled beer mugs. The attention to detail in this room is just incredible. You won't even realize that the AC is up there because the vents to the AC are disguised so well to just merge into the roof. I especially like how there are certain things in this room like this chest here which looks like an antique. Like it's centuries years old. An interesting fact about the roof is that it's based on the principle of Tachya Shastra, which is an ancient craftsmanship in which people have complete knowledge over the material. So in this case, it's wood. So the entire roof is made without the use of any nail. So here's another thing that I wanted to tell about this place, that there were a lot of Kerala houses that were supposed to be destroyed. So what CGH did was they took parts of these Kerala houses, they brought them here and they built all their, uh, most of their rooms using these parts. And hidden away behind these wooden doors is the bedroom. There's a cupboard here. I think the material is called coir. And there are slippers here which are locally made. Let's check out the bathroom. The bathroom is quite huge. All the amenities in the bathroom are given in these small reusable clay pots and they have Ayurvedic fragrances and flavors. The bathtub's over there, so what do you think these are over there? The answer to that is right to that door. So the best part about this room is that I have a private pool all to myself. It just started to rain and this is such a surreal experience. As I walk through this property, I'm realizing that sustainability here goes beyond just the use of wood. Like all the vases here are reused coconut shells. And the best for the last is that there's a private sit out that's right on the mouth of one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. I'm in love with this lake. Like so many birds. There's a bird there and another one there. Could have stared at the serene lake all day long. But seeing the bird feasting on fish made me very hungry. So I headed to the main restaurant for some seafood. We ordered a bunch of stuff and many of the seafood dishes are gonna come straight from that way. As soon as we placed our order, it began raining. And then the food arrived. Grilled prawns, squid varuval and lobster in butter garlic sauce. Finally, the star of the show is the humble pearl spot fish which is from the Vembanad Lake and it's the Alapi special. 
Now all this stuff was made to order from the à la carte section. There's also a buffet that contains more of the standard fare found in hotels which we tried for dinner. Something interesting that I have not seen in any other buffet before. So these are three flavored waters: jeera water, patti mukam, and Indian porridge. And these are waters with Ayurvedic flavors to it. Oh, I must point out this Mali Chitra Thala. No, I'm not talking about the movie that eventually became uh, Chandramukhi in Tamil and uh, Bhulbalaya in Hindi. But this here is a very ornate locking system that represents the wealth during the feudal empire. And now here's a quick rundown of everything else that I did at the property. First, there's a short cultural program that precedes dinner. <laughs> At 7 a.m., there's a guided yoga session. Then there's a guided walk through the property. Great way to explore the unique setting of this lakeside resort. Right next to the turtle pond is the butterfly garden. I'm going to try to get a butterfly to sit on my finger. Finally, there are waterway tours of the backwaters. We did something similar in Kochi which blew our minds. You have to check it out. Click the pop-up banner above or check the description. It's tea time. I was going to make us an espresso in an espresso machine, but then I just got to know that there's this surprise waiting for us. This is so cool. Auntie came all the way on a camel. And she's making tea for us while here. So along with the tea, we have two sweets. The first one is the banana fritters and parm puri, and the second one is another sweet wrapped in banana leaves. I couldn't pronounce that word. The coconut lagoon has been my favorite stay in India by far. Everything felt so authentically Kerala. The rooms were reconstituted Taravad mansions, but with so many modern amenities. The seafood so fresh and tasty, and a lush greenery outside. I can't imagine a better way to experience the backwaters of Kerala. But I'm going to try. In the next episode, I'm literally headed into the backwaters. I'm staying in the houseboat. It's my first time, and I'm excited. See you guys there.